Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is what is right behind me. I am going to completely gut my pantry and take everything out and reorganize it. If you guys remember the organization video that I did before in the pantry when I first got all the supplies and everything to organize it, if you guys remember that video, if you don't, I will link it down below. So I still have all of that stuff, but I'm thinking I want to A, either completely reorganize it or B, take everything, well, I'm taking everything out regardless, but taking everything out and just reorganizing it the way that it is, if that makes sense. The reason why I'm doing this is because the past two months, I have kind of just let this pantry go. There is stuff that we just have thrown in here, and I know for a fact that there's stuff in here that we need to go through and throw away. You guys know what I'm talking about. You have items in your pantry right now. Go look in your pantry right now. That is this video. That is me trying to tell you Let's reorganize our pantries together. I will be leaving the links down below because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about the containers that I do have in here and how I've organized. So don't worry you guys, everything that you see, I will be linking down below so that you can get it as well to help organize your pantry or even some of the same things that I've used in the kitchen, like the clear containers, or not the kitchen, I'm sorry, the fridge. I was talking about this on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, Brittany Morrow underscore. But I was telling you guys that I eventually want to do a whole pantry makeover. So today is just going to be about organizing and I do have to do some cleaning, like cleaning the floor, wiping things down that has gotten dusty. There's like stuff all over the walls. I don't know if I'm going to be able to Maybe yeah, repaint that. I don't know what I'm doing yet with that because it's like oil based. So we'll try to get that out. But I was saying how I want to get rid of the wired shelves. I would love to put built in wooden shelves. Of course, Frank would have to build those. So have Frank build the shelves. I would love to either paint in here or put shiplap or maybe even wallpaper on one wall, something. Something to add some little life to it. I know it's just a pantry, but you'd be surprised like how much we use this pantry. Obviously, we're a big family, so we use this pantry a lot. The kids are endless snackers right now, so they love to snack. They're constantly going in here. That's why I have to keep it organized for my own sanity, because if I just let it go, like I've been letting it go the past two months, believe it or not, but it also affects the kids as well, because before they could just go in there and pick the snacks they need. Now it's just, it's a huge mess and it's a different story. <laughs> We're gonna change that today, but like I was saying, I know this is a really long intro. I would love to put in actual wooden shelves, maybe little cubbies for like some of their appliances, make our shelves higher as well, or add more shelves for more space because we definitely need it. Definitely could use like another shelf. So if we make our own wooden shelves, we would be able to utilize all of this space up here look at all of the space that we could be utilizing so eventually that's our plan we would love to do something like that i don't know if it's possible to put a plug-in in here as well but we'd love to put our mini fridge or get a mini fridge to go in here so we gotta work that out if we're gonna be able to even do that because like i said there's no plug-in and i would love i don't know if it's gonna be possible either but i would love to have a glass door as well again i don't know if that would be possible but that will be a future video. Just expect that. I don't know if it will be in the near or far future, but it will be in the future. Hello. Frank just got back from a Lowe's trip. You guys want to see what he got? This must have been a treat for good behavior. Oh, okay. Was that a candy treat for good behavior? Yeah, but Daddy might take it because she's being a little grandpa. Yeah, I just tried to talk to her and she took her, <laughs> her gummies <laughs> away. She's like, you ain't going to eat my gummies. It's because Daddy's been taking them. What were you saying about the Halloween stuff? All right, so they put out Halloween stuff at Lowe's. Yeah. So we were we went in. Yeah. And Scarlett saw a Mickey Mouse pumpkin, and she's going Mickey Mouse pumpkin. <laughs> and then we turned the corner, and they had like the, the scary. Stuff. Uh huh. And she was going scary, scary, oh, scary. Do we have any Halloween inflatables? I, I feel like so. we did though. No, we don't. What? No, I know we have something more than just Christmas inflatables. I thought we had something else. We got the fog machine and everything like that, but I don't think we got any. Okay, else. we have to might have to go through our Halloween stuff and see. All what right, is this? So, so in, in our backyard, we have an area where the downspout is too far away from the ground, so it made it like all nice and muddy. I wanted to attach this to the downspout. Okay. Are you following me? A little bit. And then put this part under the ground, like dig it all out, 
and uh-huh. then put it to where it dumps out by the uh, fence at the bottom. So basically you're just rerouting the water. Oh yeah, because I'm tired of looking at it. Wait, so I've come to find out that Lowe's is like your target for me. Because, oh, or Target for me, because I'll go in for a few things at Target. Like, you were going in for a few in, things I at Lowe's. In, I went in for... <laughs> and you came back with all this. of this. You got WD-40, gas for your lawnmower, lawnmower bird for our birdie friends outside. I got some more stuff for the laser. Okay. And then a new pot! Yeah, I've been so needing it for my palm tree. So your little tree out there. Yeah, that keeps falling weather, over. Weather yeah. The storm long enough. I was like, I've got. Do we have something. any soil? And too? we have soil in the garage. But yeah, I went in for one thing and come out with a hundred dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> this thing is well, twenty something dollars. Yeah, planters oh, are oh. expensive. Plastic. They're expensive. I know. They're really expensive. I'll tell, tell y'all what. The backyard's getting its own like makeover anyways like i'm putting i'm gonna put new sod down well like are you putting new sod down or they're putting new sod down well i think what the plan is is they're going to just leave the sod here uh-huh and i'm gonna oh put it down. okay I see. they're gonna forget it yeah and then they're just gonna because they the guy come out here and he was like yeah this is definitely caused by the runoff and he was like we can definitely replace the sod from like the tree over but where we can only technically do the little the part that, that they're that they're digging, if, but they're yeah. gonna leave some, and then this is going to help out to reroute the water from over here. Uh, okay, because okay. it is bad. What we've learned from this conversation is that you will always have issues in you your house. Always, always have to go to Lowe's stuff. to buy fun adulting things. I like sometimes I like adulting, sometimes I don't. <laughs> I So you guys already know my number one, number one rule when it comes to organizing is starting with a clean slate. I always, always do that. So of course I had to take everything, and I mean everything, out of the pantry. It always is a good idea to start with a clean slate. And here I couldn't even decide where to start putting the bins because it started to fill up the counters so fast. I truly didn't realize how much stuff we had in our pantry until I started taking everything out. So that's why I always say, go ahead and just start fresh, start with nothing, and then just gradually work yourself up depending on whatever you're organizing. This could go for your linen closet or your clothes closet, whatever you're trying to organize, just go ahead and take everything out and then start from there. So everything is out of the pantry now. Everything. Floor is looking a little dirty. You can see. There's a lot going on down there. Oh, and then that's the oil that I was talking about. I have no idea how. I don't think I can paint over that. I might try to use a magic eraser, but now I'm realizing I don't think I have any magic erasers. And I definitely need to clean the baseboards and wipe those down. And some places on the shelves. You can see right there, right there. My camera doesn't want to focus too well right now, but I promise that is not blood. That is just from our ice shaving, Hawaiian ice maker liquid that you put on top of it. It has leaked all over the shelves. So I need to clean that up too. On the other hand, this is the current kitchen situation <laughs> this is definitely way more food than we had the first time 
that we did this makeover. It's multiplied three times now. I'm gonna have to do some serious organization and get rid of old food because I'm thinking a lot of it is probably old food. I don't know, but there is a lot. And it's not even just on the counters and on the table. There's stuff over here, trash cans over there. I had to set some stuff over even in my office right there. That's all the Hawaiian drinks and alcohol, alcohol there. Now I'm thinking, should I have done this? It'll be worth it in the end, right? get copyrighted but a lot of you guys I asked you on Instagram how I can go about get oh it's so echoey in here now but how I can try and get it out and you guys said Dawn dish soap so I have some hot water in here a sponge some Dawn dish soap so I guess I'm just gonna get to scrubbing the poor walls and see if that works so I do want to say a huge thank you to everybody who suggested on my Instagram when I reached out and asked you guys how I could go about getting the oil stains out of the wall. And I do want to note that it soaked right into our paint. I think I've talked to you guys about this before that our flat paint is one of our hugest regrets when we build our house because it is not kid friendly at all. If I could go back and change that and spend the extra money, I would. But a lot of you guys had really good suggestions as well on top of the dish soap. You guys recommended dry shampoo, I think, baking soda. So if you guys have any other suggestions, definitely leave it down in the comments down below. Like I said before, we're probably gonna end up just painting over it or putting shiplap over it, whatever we decide to do in the pantry in the future. But until now, I want to try to get as much out as I can. But now I am moving on to going through all of the food, literally everything, checking dates on everything. We had three bags, three bags of barbecue chips. So I just ended up putting, cause they all, they weren't expired yet. So I just ended up putting them all in one bag, but there was stuff from like 2020. This icing was from March of 2020. Can you guys believe that? and it's been in there the whole time, just taking up space. We had like three different containers of icing. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. Expired. This is March, 2020. All right, so what we got here? We got some pretty disgusting. Look at the lids. Oh, whoa, what? Yeah. Like dirt, dust, probably like sticky food and stuff. It's on so, all of them. That's kind of nasty. So I'm just gonna take a little disinfecting wipe here and just go ahead and clean that up. So after I went through all of the food, that's when I started cleaning all of the containers, wiping them down. Actually what I found out, a lot of it wasn't like dust from the house. If you guys remember, I mean, how could you not <laughs> remember about the flood that we had in our house? You guys remember, and they had to take all of our wood floors up. So I think that from that, from them taking the floors up, even though they covered everything, dust still managed to get all over the pantry because we still had all the food in there. They had just put like a plastic sheet over it, but I still think that dust, because our whole house was covered in it. So I think that was like leftover dust from when they had to take out our floors. So I just ended up wiping literally everything down. I have Fletcher with me, so you guys probably hear him a little bit in this voiceover. But I ended up wiping everything down. Oh, and going through our spices, because of course, that we had so many, so many containers or uh, bottles of expired spices. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that.
from probably two two Chris two Christmases <laughs> two, Chris two, two Halloweens. Halloweens Halloween Halloween like Halloween 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 <laughs> Halloween Halloween so I have an idea of what I could put there goes the steam mop I have an idea we can put uh, like the coconut sugar in here instead of like having because we didn't even use it it just had candy in it don't know what I'm gonna put in here I think we should just put that one up. No, I want to. I want to use it for something. I know I'll find something for this, but so far I have yeah. thrown away a lot, a lot of stuff. I haven't even shown a all lot of this of stuff. Junk. A lot of junk. A lot of things that are expired. There's that fly again. Oh, I went through a whole bunch of the baking stuff too. Let's see what else? I had a cereal box from like 2020 that I threw away. A lot of spices. I think I showed you guys the yeah, spices. Yeah, and yeah. honestly, I've been just trying to clean as I go because a lot of like the containers and ev the food storage stuff has a lot of dust and like caked on stuff just from like, you know, us opening it up over and over and over again mm. and just getting like dirt and dust and dust collecting on and everything. I'm almost to the point where I can start putting things back into the pantry. I'm just going through like little, I just don't know what to do with all that alcohol. <laughs> I feel like we need our own like bar. Uh, the kids are home from school now. Before we went to go pick them up, I was sorting through all the food, getting rid of old food. I think I've already told you guys this. We've already been through this. So now I think I'm at a good point where I can start putting the food back in the pantry. I wanted to update you guys really quick on trying to clean the oil out of the wall with the Dawn dish soap. Did not work. Maybe a little bit, but as you guys can see, it's still there. So what I'm thinking is when we do do our pantry makeover and we take all the shelves out and do all that, we will probably end up priming the wall and then repainting. I think that's the only way to get that out. So for now, it's just gonna have to be an eyesore, but I figured since we're gonna be having to do something, either shiplap or paint, whatever we decide to do, it won't be there anymore and there's no point in trying to get all of the walls clean. But I did get the baseboards clean, so that's a plus. At least the baseboards are clean. I cleaned the door as well and I wiped down the shelves. So like I said, I think I'm at a point now where I can start putting stuff back in. I'm gonna start putting it in the way that I had it and if I change my mind, I change my mind during the process, it always ends up happening. I kinda of just go or do as I go. So we're gonna go ahead and all right, so in these containers, I have two things of flour and then one thing of sugar. My dilemma is, is one had self-rising and the other had all-purpose and I didn't keep track of that. And now, because I had the all-purpose on the left and the self-rising on the right. So now I don't know which one is which. So whenever I bake next is when I'll find out which one is which. Or I guess I could always go back in the camera footage and see which one it was. So I ended up just putting the same containers in the same space or the same place that they were in before the, for two reasons. One, just to keep it simple because I already know where it goes. And two, the kids are already so used to knowing where everything is. So just to keep it simple, like that's exactly what I did. I didn't end up moving a few things in different bins to make more room for other things. But I also wanted to say just envision because I know I was talking about our new pantry whenever we can get around to doing that project. You guys know projects are very time consuming. They're very financially consuming as well. So eventually we will get there. Um, but just imagine like wooden shelves, maybe sh white shiplap all over the walls, maybe a butcher block countertop, a little black splash, black splash, back splash. I can't talk. Backsplash in there. Maybe some little cubbies for some of the appliances like our air fryers. Ideally, I would love to have some kind of plug-in in there. I know I kind of talked to you guys a little bit beforehand, but tried to envision that. I'm like already trying to envision that and uh, it's my dream. Okay, so eventually we'll get there though. 
but like I said, I am just moving some food around just to make more space. I realized we had three bins full of granola bars, so I just ended up putting all the granola bars in a bigger bin and then putting other food in the smaller bins as well. And I also realized that in these cereal and snack containers, we had snacks in there that I don't even remember getting those snacks. So I ended up dumping those out, putting new ones in there as well. And I even organized the spices. <laughs> You don't have to do this obviously, but I went ahead and did that and I realized that a lot of the spices that were expired I can now stock up on and make lists So as I was doing this I was also making a list of all the food that was expired But products that I know that I'm gonna need in the future as well That way I can go ahead and restock those products that are expired if that makes sense And that's what made me fall in love Okay, so it is the next day. The pantry is done. Surprisingly, I was able to get it done day, day and a half. I did a little bit this morning. But let me go ahead and show you guys how everything looks now. This is definitely a huge difference than the before. I'll put a before side by side. So for the most part, everything is in the same place as far as like how I had the containers before. I did switch some food around as you guys saw, but like I said, for the most part, everything is pretty much the same. Just kind of rearranged some of the containers. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour. Not gonna go into much detail, but I first wanna say, cause I've gotten a lot of questions about this. Um, I did wipe that down this morning. You saw me wipe down our recycling bin. I will link actually both of those down below. I got that on Amazon and also the touchless uh, what trash can? <laughs> I was trying to think of the name. Trash can. Also, I wanted to say really quickly that we need to take this off. We just haven't figured it out yet because it's stuck on there. Uh, but we don't need it anymore. We just needed it when we first moved here when the girls were younger. But it's just a door lock. We keep it unlocked all the time. We actually have it on our front door because Scarlett used to go out the front door. So I'll link this down below as well because it comes in handy for like those kind of situations. But we really don't use it on our pantry anymore. Anyways, I wanted to just mention the trash can because I have gotten questions. But I wiped that down today. So it's disinfected. All the dog stuff is here. So we have Luna's bin over on the left. Georgia's on the right. And this is Luna's food bin. I need to get another one. A smaller one for Georgia to store her food and then over here is like a majority of where the kids snacks are so we have like the applesauce granola bars chips right here mandarin oranges cups Fletcher's yogurt melts uh, we have a ton of oatmeal actually as I was organizing everything I was like wow we need to use up some of our oatmeal popcorn and then my protein bars back there and then we have all the cereal snacks in these containers this one is usually for like potatoes and onions things that don't need to be refrigerated you guys probably hear Fletcher in the back I think he wants a snack refill he's letting me know that he wants some more snackies and then these containers are actually from the container store as well as these I'll definitely link everything that you guys see in the video down below and these are also from the container store but we have our chips and snacks and trail mix pretzels things in this one we keep all of our bread products in here condiments or sauces <laughs> now the dog's barking we have like food packs and rice and extra like soups and things like that boxed mainly box stuff i still need to go back and figure out which flour is which but one of them is all purpose one is self-rising here's the sugar i told you guys i was going to use or repurpose this one that used to be the candy jar for the coconut sugar and then we have our ice cream machine back there we kind of ran out of space with all of our appliances you guys remember we had a whole bunch of cooking stuff here frank actually consolidated a lot of things in our pan drawer so that is currently what or where we put everything is in there actually let me just go ahead and show you guys so he put a lot of the pans in here and 
consolidated a lot of space. So all of our frying pans and griddles in um, bigger pans are now back there. And then we did get rid of some alcohol, like some open alcohol that's been sitting in our pantry for a long time and then put the rest of it over here. I try to keep this space. I don't like to have too much clutter. I know it happens, but the reason why I don't like that is because we end up throwing stuff back there and then we can't see it and then we forget about it. That's why I love to be able to see everything. So we have all of that up here, our little treat container in here. We have our cookies and some candy and brownies. Down here is like our owner's manuals for all of our appliances and all that information. But up here is like stuff for the Blackstone and then like a knife set and then in here is all of our reusable grocery bags and then all of my baking stuff right here we do save like whenever we do have plastic bags we do save them and just use them as uh, diaper poop bags so that's what we have right here more baking stuff in this container actually all of this stuff is kind of like condiments and baking peanut butter brown sugar nutella all the sauces honey agave Hershey's you guys kind of get the gist I try to keep everything kind of semi related in the same bin so I know exactly where to go if I need something so if I need powdered sugar I know it's going to be in this bin if I need peanut butter I know it's going to be in this bin Georgia found her bin <laughs> she found her bin she wants this toy do you want this little mouse there you go oh and a lot of the pans that we had up here we ended up fitting in this drawer right here so this little slide out drawer we put all of our uh, baking stuff in there I don't know why we didn't do that before and then we have all of Fletcher's formula actually this will probably be gone very soon I just realized well I didn't just realize this I've been realizing this for the past six months that he's gonna be one years old soon and he won't be on formula anymore but we do like the subscription on Amazon so we don't ever run out of formula because the boy loves his milk he loves his formula uh so we that's why we have so many is that we get like six of them every single month or every three weeks i think i have it uh, so all of his formulas here the rest of his snacks that i couldn't fit in there are on here usually we have more snacks but again boy likes to eat he's been going through a lot of his snacks and then we have all of our spices i actually went a little extra <laughs> and organize them by color so we have red and white tops right here all the black tops here and then the rest of the colors yellow green clear just random in there you don't have to be that extra I just decided to do that on the whim and then all of our oils olive oil vegetable oil avocado sprays are in here and then all of our extra boxes that weren't expired and I didn't put into other containers I put right here and then we have all of our canned goods down here and they're like can dispensers you can even use these in your refrigerator with like coke cans or beverages we use them for all of our canned goods and then here we have our rice and extra dinner items all of our pancakes we are a pancake and waffle loving family so we have multiple pancake mixes and multiple syrups and then in here is kind of like our pasta bin so we have some alfredo sauce and pastas and then our three million air fryers are down there we love our air fryers so we have all of those and some water bottles I'm actually really proud of myself for getting this done in one day because like I said you guys saw the before and we got rid of a lot of stuff a lot of junk that honestly we weren't needing or didn't eat or expired or had multiple things of and kind of put everything in one bin I couldn't believe we had three barbecue chip bags so I put those all in one bag you guys saw that oh I forgot to show you guys all of our extra protein powders that are like really big we put right here and our trash bags so that we can easily change the trash bags our wellness I guess cabinet you could say we have in here but you guys can see we can't fit those big protein powders actually we need to go through all of those coffee mugs down there because we don't use those coffee mugs anymore we use our own if you guys are looking for clear etched engraved personalized cups go to simplyetched.com a little plug right now we need to go through all of those and get rid of them because i guarantee once we do that we can be able to fit some of those protein powders underneath here all right guys so that is going to be it for this pantry i want to say it's an extreme clean 
an organization video. That took a lot of work. That took a lot out of me, but it feels so good to have my pantry all organized now and we'll see how long it lasts this time. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Uh -huh.